Hey, this is New York Dan with the Slick 50 review video on Ben's products. That's what I was, I posted a short video saying this was upcoming. And the reason I'm doing this video, I only review products that I actually use and like. Stuff that I find that is really good for my own cars. The reason I'm doing this, there's a big YouTuber, Project Farm. He did a Slick 50 video, and there was quite a bunch of uh, fanfare and hype about it. The problem is he had a, he made a big mistake. The guy doesn't know. He didn't realize this in his defense. Slick 50 has changed a lot over the years. There's been different things going on with it. The product he tested was called Slick 50 Recharged if I'm not mistaken. And the thing is, when he poured it out to test it, I noticed it looked like regular old motor oil. I know the difference. Slick 50, I'm gonna show you right now. This is the original Slick 50 box. Now this one, Slick 50, for to give you a little history, I believe it came out around 1978 and it was an engine treatment that contained Teflon, also known as PTFE. What it is, it's kind of a plastic compound with very low friction. They use it in so many things like the um, plumbing tape, that white tape, that's Teflon. It's a strong, like kind of a plasticky fiber type thing and they use it on nonstick pans, all that stuff. It's not really supposed to be a good idea to use those pans, by the way. I also have another channel, Life Hack Official, and I do like health related stuff. You're better off with an iron pan, to be honest. Now, a lot of the pans, they feature a ceramic coating. Now, strangely enough, that pan thing is a strange coincidence because a new Slick 50 product came out that features not only the PTFE, the Teflon, but also ceramic. And this is a new technology for engine treatment. Okay, back to the original Slick 50 though. The whole problem is, and also the one Project Farm tested, I don't believe it had any ceramic um, it wasn't touting that on the box. It was some other thing called Slick 50 Recharge. And I don't think it really should have even been allowed to use the same name as Slick 50. Reason is, back in the 70s when it originally came out, the guy had a formula to put this Teflon into an engine treatment. It was very small particles of it mixed into a base carrier oil like 10W30. When it first came out, they were saying that to get maximum effectiveness, you should actually bypass your oil filter. Reason is the Teflon would, most people were saying it would clog the filter and it goes into the filter paper and it's filtered out it's not going to be able to treat your engine it's not even getting to the engine to the metal parts you know enough of it so this treatment was a little difficult to use and like real mechanics that were like hardcore you don't know nothing they would be the ones that would like buy this. It was like kind of sold under the table. And that was long before you had the internet and stuff. I had said sometime in the summer, I was gonna do an automotive live stream and I'm still trying to do that, getting stuff together. And I'll do it like every, every week or so, like a automotive type show. But I gotta get a bunch of equipment, all my stuff, I got Windows 7, Everything now, if I want to show stuff on the screen, I have to use a program. need more computing power to do all this junk. 
Long story short, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. Steve Wallace does camping and junk. He has a beer donation fund. I'm just going to do the same thing on this channel. I'm going to put a link in the description because a lot of people that watch the channel have, can easily donate money to it. It's very simple and that will help fund computers and all the junk we need to do this stuff. Um, you know, the technology stuff, that's like straight out. This, this is all work, laying out money, buying stuff. And even from what I've heard, even channels that are monetized, unless you're doing like viral videos that are total clickbait all the time, and it, those are usually pretty useless videos, um, you're not really going to make, even if you get it monetized, you're going to make like less money than a paper route. So I'm just, all I'm trying to do is maybe try to cover some of the costs or whatever. If people can afford it, I'll just put a, uh, PayPal link, donate, even a few bucks. That's the best way to do it instead of uh, relying on, you know, trying to do mass videos and stuff. So anyway, the Slick 50, the ceramic engine treatment, they brought back a box, much like, I'm going to show you the two boxes side to side. This is the ceramic one that I just got recently. This is a box I've had in the garage. I actually saved it from the original Slick 50. My uncle actually got me this for my birthday or for Christmas or something um, a, a long time back. And he was, at one point, he liked this stuff a lot. And he was buying this all the time. He would give us multiple quarts of this stuff for doing engines so at one point I had a lot of them and I actually put them on the shelf and I saved them for a while this could go back this I probably can find the date on here if I really look hard but um long story short this was the original formula and this core I actually used fairly recently within the last couple of years in my Mustang GT engine 4.6 V8 and when I poured it out and the instructions by the way on the Slick 50 say shake well because that Teflon would have to get dispersed throughout the oil it's small particles and then when you you pour it into your engine you want to get all that out of the bottle not have it on the bottom that's how thick this stuff was and the idea is it's supposed to get like hammered into your moving surfaces on the engine, the extreme wear, extreme pressure points. It gets impregnated into the metal and then it protects your engine even when there's no oil there. Like when you first start the engine, say your car sat for a couple weeks, you start that thing up dry. That's really bad. Slick 50 is supposed to that. Um, so this original product, I actually used it and I witnessed it when I poured it out. It was a milky almost type of formula like motor oil with a lot of stuff in the oil that you could actually see. That was definitely missing on Project Farms Review. This original formula had Teflon in it. That was all it had. And back to my story, in the 1980s this came out, like say 78, Slick 50 came out, was obscure, before the internet, a few um, maybe magazines, popular mechanics, stuff like that, they advertised, got a customer base, then it got into auto stores. The original instructions were to change your oil. And then when you put the Slick 50 in, you immediately have the engine like running or start it right up, drive the car for an hour, something like that. A certain amount of miles or time to coat the engine while that Teflon was fresh in the system. And it doesn't like settle out on the bottom of your oil pan, something who knows what their logic was. So anyway, Slick 50, it did get a bit of a bad rap by the general public. Um because when it probably because they said it could clog a filter when it first came out 
and then because it has particles in it. So sometime during the late 80s or 1990s even, they came out with this infamous 50,000 mile limited warranty. Okay, now here's the catch. They claim they would replace your engine if it failed, if you did the instructions with Slick 50. It said you have to get, okay, here's the, here's the catch. They give you a 50,000 mile limited warranty, an extra 50,000 miles on your engine, but your engine had to have 50,000 miles or less when you first used Slick 50 and applied for the warranty. Then you had to follow their um, treatment instructions. And the original one claimed it protected the engine for 50,000 miles on one treatment. So that's, that's pretty exceptional. Um, this one here... This has the uh, PTFE, the Teflon, has a 10W30 carrier oil. And they said, I guess they're trying to debunk some of the myths um, or the bad press Slick 50 had gotten in the 80s. It said, uh, Slick 50 will not cause corrosion of your engine components, will not void manufacturer's warranties is compatible with all major types of motor oil, is safe for all automotive gasoline engines, um, formulated with a 10W30 GF4 compliant motor oil. And it says, will not dilute your oil change. Well, this was their answer to calming people, the naysayers or fear mongers about Slick 50 may cause your engine to blow up. They're like, we're going to give you a guarantee on it. It's so good. Now, here's the facts. I used this in my Mustang. I poured it in. Now, what I did, because I knew about this, what I did, I waited until the oil filter was more dirty, until the oil had a certain amount of miles on it. My Mustang burns a lot of oil anyway, so it's always dropping down. I'm putting a new quart. I poured the whole Slick 50 in, and the reason I did that with the older oil filter is because inside your oil filter there is a spring valve, a bypass valve in it, and I believe your automotive oil pump in your engine also has a valve in it, a bypass valve. When the oil's cold or the filter's very dirty, it will allow the oil to bypass the filter. Being that I know how the old school Slick 50 worked, I poured the thing in, and then when the engine was cold, I started up with the Slick 50 in there, the, the real Slick 50 with the Teflon, shook the thing up, poured it in, and guess what? My Mustang, this is a real test of the product, and it's I'm not really, I'm not trying to knock the guy, but Project Farm, he takes like one of those bearings that's like hard steel, like a ball bearing almost, or a roller bearing, and he puts has another metal disc or wheel rubbing on it, and he pours oils and checks them and see his how much wear is on the thing after you do it. Well, to be honest with you, that's basically just going to show you how much viscosity the oil has. Your, he has it bathed in oil. The thicker oils will give you a better result with that little test. It's nothing like what's going on in your engine, in your real car. It's nothing like that. The cylinders in your car are cast iron. The cast iron is porous. The theory is this Teflon can get into the pores and it can coat the cast iron. And it can, it's, it, the big thing is cylinder wear in your car. That's why Slick 50 was so great. Cylinder wear. The, and also maybe the valve guides, they have a metal that's porous 
and the valves going up and down and the oil surround there to lubricate it a bit. It will help with that too. The bearings in an automotive engine are pressure lubricated. The oil's pumped through there. They're not ball bearings. They have what's called baba. It's a soft white metal. It usually contains lead, tin, soft metals. And the shape of it, I'll show you sometime on my channel. We'll do one of these. It goes on a flat, what's called a journal, on your crankshaft and the journals have an oil passage so they pressure lube inside the bearing that the flat bearing right this oil being pumped in there so it's guiding on a fine film of oil all the time it's nothing like having a roller bearing piece that's solid steel it's not porous it can't absorb any slick 50 particles it can't be coated you have another piece of metal rubbing directly on it you keep pouring oil up that there are tests that that there are things that would be app applicable to but a lot of the automotive stuff that's it doesn't really apply and then the other famous thing the guy does he runs like lawnmower engines would know he drains the oil out and sees how oh it blew up yeah no kidding it's gonna blow up Sherlock you have no oil in it and one might run a little longer than the other and it could just be coincidence the usually they're like different brand lawnmowers or different things they might one might have more wear on it than the other one had one might have been broken in more. Forget about it. The So with the Slick 50, I can tell you when I added it to the Mustang, I started up cold, so it will bypass the oil filter and run. My Mustang has a lot of miles on it, close to 200,000. 4.6 V8. This engine in mine the guy before me i think raced it or did some crap he put a maybe a junkyard engine in it i have a year 2000 engine and the car's a 98 the engine the reason why i got it for a steal of a deal the last owner was selling it i only paid like two grand or something a little over two grand for the car and that's when it was pretty new it was only like 10 years old okay the engine had a bit of a knock when you first start it up when it's cold poop, 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 poop. mechanical from the engine when it warmed up the knock would quiet down and go away okay when I put the slick 50 in the stuff with Teflon it actually quieted down and that knock completely went away when I was driving the car around so that goes to show you that this Slick 50 was in fact doing something. And I believe the noise is from cold pistons slapping around a bit. So if I coated the bores, the cylinder bores with that Slick 50 and it helped quiet that down, that's amazing. And the car was running, You back when you used to treat it with Slick 50, the gas mileage would kick up would actually go up because there's less friction from your piston rings going up and down against the cylinder bores. The original Slick 50, it was filled with Teflon, right? To the point that it was like milky. I gotta get a paper towel. That stuff got on my finger. Now, who knows how healthy this, this stuff is. Like, they handle it. I would wear gloves doing any of this these treatments. It's chemicals chemistry and then I just rub my nose great so here's the new product and they look very these boxes look very similar I'm going to show you this is the brand new product right here right slick 50 and believe it or not here's the old product this was the real Slick 50, and I know it because I poured it out of here. 
This has a seal on here, protecting engine since 1978. I was actually right on the money. I didn't even realize that. That's what I thought. It came out in like 78, this junk came out. And actually my dad had an Oldsmobile diesel and he used it like he was one of the first ones to get it back when it came out and he, co he coated the diesel with it and he claimed at one point the engine overheated because those cars were notorious for having problems. He got screwed over the thermostat, wore through the top of the thermostat, there's like a little rod. I've never seen this happen since. The thing wore through the bracket that holds that little top rod in and it pushes down to open it with a spring. Wow, my camera just moved. Somehow the metal got like worn enough and the rod went through the metal. So the thermostat mechanism in there worked, but the rod escaped out the top of the bracket. So we were driving along on the expressway and the car overheated. It sucked, had to get a tow truck. And my dad, he turned the engine over a few times, just a little bit at a time to make sure it didn't seize up. And he claimed the Slick 50 Teflon treatment probably saved it from seizing up and being junk. And he, he was able to redo it and get the thing running again. Uh, it ran fine, possibly because of Slick 50. That's a story for you. Now, the new Slick 50, same kind of box, but now they're saying it has ceramic. But the thing is, they're not saying it's just ceramic. They call they have a name here on here. It says Surflon. And they're saying uh it's Teflon with ceramic reinforcement that provides more lubricity against heat and friction than PTFE alone. And PTFE is Teflon, the the code for Teflon, so to speak. Um so what they're saying now with this new Slick 50, uh, they're saying if you have five quarts or less capacity, you replace one quart of oil with one bottle of Slick 50. Now, what I like about this treatment is it comes, it is a full quart of engine treatment that you put in. A lot of treatments out there, they have some kind of little potion and the potion, it comes in a very small bottle. You put that into your oil and it's supposed to work magic. That's a little hard to believe. And especially some of them, I'm not going to name names, of course, for liabilities, but I've seen some that are like almost a watery substance. It's not even like oil. And you put that in and, it, and they make a lot of outlandish claims like you can use it put it in your gas tank, you put it in your your um, anything, power steering, your um, engine oil, the whole bit, and this, the thing's supposed to work magic. That, I seriously doubt that does anything. It just, if you think, you just have to use common sense with a lot of these engine treatments or automotive products. If it if you know how engines work and you've done some mechanicing, so to speak, you should be able to figure this out. Some of the stuff doesn't make sense. All right, it's got to make sense. Now, what I like about this, it's a full core and it is in an oil. Okay, so that's a lot of capacity right there. You're putting in Basically, uh, five quarts or less, you're using one quart. So this is going to give you 20% of your engine oil. It's going to be the actual Slick 50 formula, right? Now, there is, of course, it's in some kind of carrier oil, but still, you get the point. There's a lot of, it's a, a pretty big volume of stuff you're treating the engine with. 
Six quarts or more simply replace 20% of the um, motor oil with Slick 50 ceramic. It says use once a year. Um, for all other oil changes, non-annual treatment, use, and there's that, they say Slick 50 recharged, which I think Project Farm use. They want you to use that like in between the this stuff and this is like the real slick 50 I wouldn't even worry about trying to use anything else um, so it's this thing supposedly it has a base oil it has PTFE it has oh wait I think they compare it they're comparing it to PFTE alone their famous Surflon, which is a mix of the Teflon and ceramic technologies. And they did a bunch of tests or whatever, and they claim this is the best. This is their little chart in the back here. I'm not going to waste time trying to. Um, you could pause it, I guess, if you really want to read it. Um, a bunch of different treatments here. Now, I am going to say, one time I did get the stuff my uncle got, and it was called OEM treatment, engine treatment. And this stuff, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it, it may be um, the, one of the real deals with engine treatment. Unfortunately, I haven't seen it since. And this may have been sometime in the 1990s, I'm thinking. This... Um, OEM treatment, I believe I had, I think it's this, it's called molybdenum, right here, okay, if I'm not butchering that, now, that stuff, when I poured it out, it was kind of like a, almost a grease, it was a thicker, oil that it had like a black darkness to it that additive the molybdenum it so it went in there and you could see it almost like a also graphite that's one of the things they tested here too and that's really old school like i think they did used to put some graphite in oil graphite oil to um give you better uh engine wear characteristics but that original treatment, the OEM, I think that was pretty, that was another one that I thought was good, but they don't make it, I can't find it anymore. And I think there's uh, one of them, there might be, it might be available somehow. There's a German, a famous German oil additive company that they make a lot of stuff. They're big with motorcycles. And uh, Lubro Molly, I think that might be it, because it's Molly Bidium is the thing. I think that's it, Lubro Molly. I think they do have something like that available, but it's very expensive, and I think you'd have to, you almost have to buy it maybe over the internet to get it. It's not that well. Actually, I had to get this, but this stuff is available right on Amazon, so it makes it a little easier. Um, the stuff, it's not black. I'm going to show you what this stuff looks like. Um, they now say once a year you have to treat it. Compatible with all motor oils, synthetic, conventional, and blends. Will not void manufacturer's warranties. Will not clog oil filters. Works in all automotive gasoline engines. Now, I think you could probably use this in diesel as well, because we used to do that. And I might treat the Benz engine with it. This is what they say right here. And that's what I was telling you about the original Slick 50. I had to say will not clog oil filters at some point. It got a bad rap. People were afraid to use it. They were like, oh, you put that in your car, it's just going to sludge it up. 
This actually says cleans and prevents sludge now on there too. Probably because of that, you know, the rumors that back with the original thing. Okay, and this thing here, it says the Surflon is a ceramic reinforced, ceramic reinforced fluoropolymer better than PFTE alone. So the fluoropolymer, that's what the Teflon was. That's like the original thing. And somehow this thing, ceramic, reinforces it. Now, I was at an auto parts store. I got into the, into the zone, so to speak. I'm not going to name names, but uh, I got in the zone. I was looking at the shelves, and I did see they have an additive right there that just says it's ceramic to treat your engine. I don't know if I trust it. It's a smaller bottle. It's not a quart. I'm not 100% on the ceramic, the deal with this junk. But I know this is becoming more and more popular. There's a lot of paint finishes that claim to use ceramic technology to seal your paint instead of using a wax. Who knows if it's really any better? I don't know. That I admit, that's something for me to test on this channel because there's a lot of tricks with paint and if you obsess over it and you want to do it every day, uh, put this stuff on your paint and you use a clay bar and all this junk, you know, that your paint will look good, but it will look just as good if you do that and you use like wax. And then the more you do this stuff, you're wearing down your paint. One of my friends in high school, he got a Mustang GT, beautiful car, and he, he went crazy. He was always buffing and detailing it. He ended up, he had the electric buffer, the corners where the, the creases were on those cars and stuff, you know. The older, they were like the one vanilla ice head the 5.0s, um, he, the damn paint was completely wearing off. It was black under there. The uh, primer coat was starting to show through because he buffed the damn thing too much. So anyway, back to this Ceramic Slick 50. I added this to the Mustang a couple weeks ago when I made my short video about the Slick 50. And I determined this this is credible. It is somewhat like the original formula. I've been driving the car around a few weeks with it in, and it's running really smoothly. Now, my car burns oil to boot already, and I've noticed it's, it's made a smell, I don't know, maybe a little more of a stench coming out of it from the exhaust. Could it be this stuff? I don't know. Just don't breathe too much of it. That would be my advice. Of course, that's hard to do if you're driving the car and you're at like a stoplight or something. Or if you back up or whatever. But the car is running good. It's running well. And uh, the engine sounds pretty quiet. And I actually have a clip I'm going to edit in here. Being that it's nice to do a long video, by the way, because... I'm so sick of the damn uh, short videos, the YouTube short. You barely can get anything even explained in such a quick amount of time. You That it amounts to, all those videos amount to are a bunch of um, clickbaits. Where people click it and it's some kind of stupid little gimmick and the thing... And a lot of it, they show you like building stuff or making a thing real fast. And it's like a totally pointless, it's not even practical. A guy took like a little DC motor and he made something out of it that was supposed to be like a power tool, like a drill or something. Why even waste your time? It's not going to have enough power to drill anything. Um, there's all kinds of junk like that. So... It's good to actually do a real video where you can explain stuff and 
show things and actually look at a real product and test it under real conditions. I'm going to show you right now this beaker here. I poured the Slick 50 with the ceramic technology in here. Actually, I'm going to flip on. Let me see if I can get more lighting. Okay, this is the actual product. And you can see, you know, it's a little bit cloudier than motor oil would be. Because I think that's actually got the Teflon in it. Now on the bottom of the speaker, you can see some stuff settled out. I'm not sure if that's the ceramic, but you see, I'm going to try mixing that up. You know, that's what it, that, it says, I believe, shake well, but That's probably some of the stuff, the good stuff that's supposed to help coat your engine. But that might be why some people were afraid about Slick 50s. Okay, here's what the stuff looks like being poured in. Oh, I shook it up. Let's see if we can get this here. Here we go. This is what it looks like. And you can see there's something to it. It's not just motor oil. There's definitely something in there let it drain out here see it in the bottom there uh, that looks kind of like motor oil but there there is some cloudiness to it which is good because if there wasn't I want to think it was legit um, so what you can do with that funnel setup you just stick the can in like that too if you want to drain it out just leave it in there for a little bit to get the last bit out and I think I might add off camera just a little bit more since I got all those treatments now yeah in case you haven't seen it this is a really cool engine the Mustang 4.6 V8 and the cool thing about this one is it's a year 2000 engine but it's got the remnants of stuff from 1998 and that would be these external ignition coil packs they're not coil on plug Screaming Demon aftermarket, they're higher voltage coils. And the beauty of this is the only thing going in the spark plug hole is a rubber boot with the wire. Some of these cars had problems, the coil with that boot built into it, a little bit of coolant could puddle up in the spark plug um, valley hole and it would actually mess up the, um, it would get into the ignition coil or mess it up when you had micro coils on top of each spark plug boot on the, that was on the newer model if you're into Mustangs but this part I like this the best because the coils are kept cooler they're away from the heat of the engine and this one also has a monster alternator it came that way from the factory they went to a cheaper alternator after probably around year 2000 that's a 98 alternator I believe it's 130 amps at least um, and we've got a cold air intake on it as well wrapped I wrapped it the previous owner bought that kit who knows when that was from and it, this engine actually has long tube headers on it as well Okay, I have 198, 338 miles on this car. Now I can't reach in and do a start because it's a manual, so I have to press on the clutch. Gotta make sure it's in neutral to start it. I have my foot down here on the clutch. Okay, now I want it to start it. I want it to start it cold with the added Slick 50 treatment because when it's colder, a lot of the oil's bypassing the oil filter. So I figure it's gonna give it a chance to actually get that ceramic Teflon coating around the engine. 
Now you hear the bit of noise it makes when it's cold. A little bit of a slapping noise. Coming from over here, I think. What do you guys think that is? Is that valve noise or is that piston slap? It goes away when the car warms up. But that's one thing this treatment seemed to help with the original foot 50. Trying to get it to bypass the oil filter and really get that stuff spread around. It sounds good considering it's cold. I think that stuff is making the engine quieter. Now you barely can even hear that noise. how I got like a whole bunch of quarts now because Amazon had a deal on it after the first quart I went back on to buy it if you buy I think six of them you can actually get them for around 10 bucks a quart which isn't bad considering regular motor oil almost a lot of places cost like six dollars a quart anyway so that's not bad at all so subscribe and I'll see you in the next video that's coming up. Thanks.